Okay, I think it's on. Well, um, this is the fourth time I've been able to stand up in, in front of uh, God and everybody. I've had three other sons get married, and now it's Drew's turn. Drew came to us uh, in the eighth grade, and uh, uh, his mom had moved to Hawaii, and family said, Drew needs to come and stay with you, Bobby. And uh, so, okay, nine months, no problem. Well, uh, it was great. I thought to myself, Here's 25% more labor force. <laughs> and that worked out pretty well, except for you give Drew a $5 job and he breaks $100 worth of tools. So, like, wow. Stayed with us five years and we finally had to throw him out in September to go to college in Spokane. And so he's been in there going to Spokane and uh, coming back and forth, visiting holidays and stuff like that. And uh, didn't come out and do a lot of work, but when he did, Usually they win hundred dollars worth of tools every time. So he brought Renee out uh, a year ago, Fourth of July, and uh, uh, all my boys, other boys, were home with wives and girlfriends and stuff, and it was a good time. And Renee wanted to impress everybody, and uh, so she was going to make this cake, a Fourth of July cake, and uh, she starts making it, and oh great, hey, I love cake, but uh, she takes the the mixing bowl and drops it and breaks it in the sink. Well, that cost me $300 because I had to buy a new mixer for my wife. And uh, I thought, perfect. They're perfect for each other. Okay? So uh, I encourage you, grab that girl. Keep her. She's a keeper, Drew. And anyway, we wanted to get him out of the house permanently. So Anyway, uh, with that, I just uh, wanted to share some other thoughts. Uh, we've, we've really enjoyed having Drew in our home and having Renee uh, this past year. Just getting to know her and her family has been a real joy. And uh, I want to uh, leave them with a couple words of encouragement. Um, Drew and Renee are both Christians. They, they know Jesus as their Savior. They, they believe in Him. They believe that He's given them life. And uh, I have some words to uh, just share with you and uh, use uh, witnesses to this. Um, the greatest command in the Bible is found in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 5 and following. It's called the Shema. And it's uh, to be, by, by faithful Jewish people, to be read daily. Not once a week, once a month, once a year, but daily. And I want to give this to you guys to, to think about, to encourage you. And uh, let me just read this. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God. The Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the doorposts or door frames of your houses and on your gates. And I just encourage you guys to daily seek the Lord, think about Him, honor Him as your God. And I know that you guys do that. You're in the habit of doing that now. That blesses my heart and encourages me because God is, is so important uh, in our family. And He's important to you and He needs to become more important as the days and years go by. Just like your love and commitment to each other will grow. It hasn't reached its peak yet, but as you guys nourish it and, and, and uh, live it, it will become even greater than what it is already. So, my words to you guys. Thank you. Yes, God bless the 